Hello there guys, my name is Chris Shadongsterborn, but built for theme park news and welcome to a theme park news from update from Plopsa Land Japan. Now we do have some images from Plopsa updates on Instagram that sent them over to me, so thank you very much Plopsa updates for the updates. <laughs> Plops updates for the updates. Did them. Uh, no. <laughs> um, this update is on their brand new coaster set to open in 2021. This coaster is going ahead in 2021. It is set to go ahead. And it's a brand new Mac Extreme spinning roller coaster. I'm going to share with you all the facts that we know about the coaster already. Uh, share the footer photo and what, what's been going on on the construction site. The stats and facts for the coaster are for the people that are new to the channel and of course you know haven't heard anything about this project but we do have a brand new playlist. Yay! A brand new playlist for this coaster project so any new updates all of them will be going in that particular playlist. So if you want to see more updates like this and more videos like this please give this video a like Please subscribe to Coast Shell YouTube channel. Click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. Please share with your friends, your family, and on social media. And as well as commenting down below your video suggestions. I've got loads lined up from you guys, so thank you very much. Keep suggesting them. You can also write your questions down below. If you use the hashtag question before or after your question, then they will appear in our next Q&A session, which will be when we celebrate 2,000 subscribers. We're getting there. We're, we're really getting there. We're getting there quicker than I thought. And for now, guys, let's get into this video. So, let's share the update from Plopster Updates, the footers. Uh, basically, for those of you who need a summary of this image update, I'm going to put the image on your screen now. Find out a bit But the summary of this update is basically all the footers are in place. Basically, footer construction has finished. So all the footers, uh, spe uh, definitely around the lake area uh, where Super Splash is, footers for though for the coaster around that area are now in place. Uh, for those of you who need a li little bit of extra information on the coaster itself, it's codenamed Time Traveler according to Roller Coaster Database. It's a project name. Obviously, that's not the actual name. We know that. Uh, but Time Traveler is the project name. Uh, and for any of you who are wondering, yes, it is the same spelling as Silver Dollar City's Time Travel, which is the same model of coaster. Uh, it's not two L's. Um, now, basically, this has a height of 108.3 feet, a length of 3,018.4 feet, a speed of 55.9 miles per hour, and includes five inversions. We have a Heartline roll, a Banana roll, a Loop, a Zero G roll, as well as an LSM launch and an LSM boost. Now this is costing 15 million euros with two trains with four cars per train. Riders arrange two across in two rows for a total of 16 riders per train. So, <coughs> so with the footer work taking place on the image, again, thank you to Plopster Updates for sharing this with me. Um, what does that tell us about the construction timeline for this project? Now, obviously, in the obviously it's different in Europe, but we know in the UK, uh, if you physically can't work from home, you know, if you can go back to work, then that is doable. Uh, so we know that construction work in the UK for the UK projects like Flamingoland, Ten Looper, anything else that needs to be done with Gangster Granny, the ride at Alton Towers. Anything like that, that can now you know continue, that can now go ahead. But projects in Europe, now this might be a little different. Now I believe Belgium may be letting people still work. I'm not quite sure on the restrictions in Belgium. Uh, but I know that a lot of European parks are opening up with restrictions in a couple of weeks, a few weeks, in about a month or so. Um, so I know that European parks are starting to reopen a bit now. Uh, I know, I think it's Europa or Aftelling or... I think both of them will probably do it, uh, but one of them definitely out of those two, you have to tell you, Europa is opening with a reduced capacity when they reopen. Trips drills planning to reopen, uh, so the two coasters could be the two brand new coasters for 2020 could be ready to open as well. Uh, so hopefully, fingers crossed. It. If anyone's down at Trips drill, by the way, to do to see the opening of these two coasters, send some footage back. I want to get some footage on the channel of the opening day, but. Yeah, so this project, we don't know when the construction is going to resume, but we can pretty much assume that construction is still going ahead from these images. Uh, but, like we said, the footers on the, around the lake area near Super Splash are now in place. 
and the construction of in terms of the track I think that won't come until winter when the parks close and they can do uh, socially distanced deliveries uh, so they can uh, put up the track with the with the measures in place in in Belgium uh, and they can keep constructing the coaster in my opinion they can keep constructing it uh, I think we are still set for a 2021 opening whether it's spring or summer again we don't know uh, but I've been I'll be very excited to see the official announcement of the official name for the coaster the theme obviously we get this you know, futuristic theme there's a bit of steampunk in there when we revealed uh, an earlier concept image of the the station for this new coaster uh, a couple of months ago a few months ago uh, and it's very interesting very very interesting so um, yeah please 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 stay tuned on this project I know I will and this is going to be a very exciting project a very exciting project to follow and you know we followed this project ever since the first rumors came in so we knew about this coaster for a few months those of you who are new to the channel again go and check out the brand new playlist for this project um, for Pop Slam Japan it's, but it was quite an out of the blue project. We sort of, we didn't really, like, I, I didn't, pre I didn't predict an extreme spinning coaster to be Pop Slender Pan's next coaster, um, and especially so soon after Heidi the Ride as well. Because don't forget, Heidi the Ride was their uh, latest coaster before this. That was a GCI. So we 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 knew that a coaster would be a few years away. Yeah, quite a lot of years away. But I didn't expect it to be so soon as you know three years after the opening of Heidi the Ride. Um, like two or three years or so so it was very exciting and very interesting to see what the coaster was going to be and then the rumors of the extreme spinning coaster came out we sort of thought hang on a minute really an extreme spinning coaster is that extreme can they pay for it um i didn't think it was out of popsaland's price range but i thought a coaster such as that wouldn't be in their sort of market their target market and then we got the confirmation in the popsa presentation and i was like yes this is happening this is actually happening and funny story funny story this uh, last year I I was in Whitby's Chippy. I was waiting in a queue line, and that's when I got the news. Someone messaged me on Instagram while I was waiting in the queue for Whitby's Chippy and sent me the photos and the images and the message, and I was like, really? So that's when I first heard about this project, and I'm going to keep that story with me because it's the first time I heard about this project, and it's a project that I've always, always, always wanted to do. Ever since it was first announced, I was like, yes, I need to go in 2021, 2022, whenever to ride this because it's going to be a fantastic project. So there we go. So that is this latest update on Pops Underpants brand new Mac Extreme Spinning Coaster. Please like, comment, subscribe. And for now, guys, my name is Coaster Chell. Keep learning the coaster life. I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have an awesome day.